Hey guys, this is Rail at Fawn Arena. I'm at MWC 2014 and taking a look at the awesome new Galaxy S5. So in this video, I would like to walk you through the um, through the under the hood goodness of the Galaxy S5. Uh, you know the chipsets, the processors, GPUs, and such kind of uh, good, all kinds of good things. Starting off with the chipset, it is the Snapdragon 801, so no Exynos here, no Exynos 5 octaves, just Snapdragon 801, it's the latest and greatest silicon by Qualcomm, it has a 2.5 GHz quad-core Crate 400 CPU, uh, which is it to be even faster than what was available. Um, in the Snapdragon 800, which is still a cut and catch, uh, you know, piece of silicon, and this is even faster. This is going to be even faster. So Snapdragon 801 practically future proves the Galaxy S5. Uh, in addition, its graph, uh, its graphics chip, the GPU, is the Adreno 330 uh, for superb uh, graphical performance and experience and it's actually said to be about 30% faster, it's up to 30% faster compared to the same Adreno 330 but in the Snapdragon 800. So even the GPU is benefiting here. I don't know what we're gonna do with so much power but you know, uh, having is not like not having. So um, the handset also has uh, 2 gigs of RAM so uh, that's, you know, in my opinion, that's uh, an abundant amount of storage even for a high-end Android smartphone. So it's going to be just enough. And then there are different storage uh, options for your 16, 32 gigabytes and so on. But it also has a micro SD card slot available. So, you know, it doesn't really matter. You can always uh, easily expand its storage by installing a micro SD card slot on the Galaxy S5. So the handset is really flying, as you can see. There is pretty much zero lag here, almost zero lag. Um, I mean, this is probably the fastest Android smartphone I have ever tried. Uh, even the Nexus uh, 5 doesn't hear, uh, that doesn't feel as, as snappy and as fast, you know. So uh, I just can't wait to see how this phone is going to uh, to run, you know, 3D heavy demanding games. I guess it's going to run them just as any other high-end smartphone with Snapdragon 800. But still, uh, for uh, in the long run, you know, uh, I think we are really going to appreciate the Snapdragon 801 chipset that's available inside of it.